okay, you need quick, simple, minimal makeup to cover your redness, to cover your unevenness, to cover your blemishes. This is like the most minimal amount of makeup that you're gonna own, like hands down. Okay, so number one, I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna use this color called Mango and I'm gonna put it underneath my eye like this, okay? This is gonna help with anything that is like overly red or like a bluish tint. And I sort of have like a bluish purplish tint right there. And I'm just gonna go ahead, I'm gonna let that warm up to my skin. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and while we're waiting for that, I'm gonna take this 3D brush and I'm gonna go into this color right here, which is called Aspen. And this is a contour. And what this is going to do is help with any redness that you may have. So while you're waiting for your under eye cream to warm up, and that's the beauty of cream, is that it sits on your skin and it warms up naturally. And then when it blends in, it's like magic. So it makes it look like you're barely even wearing anything at all. Now, if you struggle with redness or rosacea, you may do this underneath your makeup every single day. So this is gonna be something that's going to help. And can you see, it's like slowly starting to erase the redness. I'm just gonna go ahead and flip this over. All of these brushes are two-sided, which is really, really nice. I'm gonna try to do one half of my nose. It's kind of hard to do one half of your nose, but I want you to see like just how great this product is. I always have this when I go on vacation because sometimes you get redness. And I'm using a very little amount. You may see me reaching in here and dipping in here. I'm using a very little amount when I do. I'm like barely even tapping. So there's barely even anything on here. And you can kind of sweep it or stipple it. Now, this should be dry or not dry, but warm. And you can blend it right away. I don't want you to feel like you have to wait. But I just feel like if you let it sit for a little bit, look at that. It just blends in like butter. So you can have a very, very minimal look without barely having anything on. So makeup doesn't have to be full-blown eyeshadow and mascara. It can be something that is very, very simple and it can just kind of cut down on the redness, right? And let me just set it with the sponge so it just keeps it natural. This is a damp perfector sponge sprayed with the setting spray, but this will keep everything natural and everything really easy. So this is just a great product to have inside of your palette. Now, take it one step further. Go ahead and let's take Black Cherry. I'm gonna use the blush and bronzer brush for this. This just keeps it very natural and very light. And this is just gonna go ahead and put a little bit sort of a warmth back in my cheek. And then you can even come through and use the other side and dip into the Bella bronzer and you can put a little bit of warmth like right here. So if you wanted to take it one step further without having a whole lot of makeup, but you just wanna have a little bit of warmth, you can use this to go ahead and make sure that your makeup is like matching all the way down. And then this way, you have just a little bit of coverage, but man, it makes all the difference in the world. It makes you feel more awake. It makes everything feel just better. And sometimes makeup is just about looking in the mirror and feeling like just a little bit better about yourself to move on for the day. Whether that's going to the gym, running errands, going to work, whatever, maybe even just being around the house. You look in the mirror and you're like, okay, I don't look as tired, I'll take it. Or I don't see my blemishes, I'll take it. Because let me tell you, acne, no matter what age you get it at, it really stinks. But when you didn't have it in high school and you get it in your 40s, you gotta love it. So sometimes just kind of like hiding that will help everything. So Aspen is a great eraser to have inside of your palette. Black Cherry, it's really scary, really dark. You can see it's a really dark color. But let me tell you, once it's all blended, you can see it's just gorgeous and natural. And don't forget Bella. Bella is always your best friend. And these are the two brushes we use today. So as always, reach out if you have any questions whatsoever. I'm going to go ahead and finish the other half of my face. And then we'll continue with the rest of my routine.